Greetings, friends. I'm Dr. Dwayne Bikey, president of Adventist World Radio. We're here in Loma Linda, California with our ambassadors who, who minister all across North America to the churches representing Adventist World Radio. Some of you have had them in your, your churches. They do a fantastic job. If you haven't, please contact us and we'll make sure that you can get a special report from the, the hotline, what is happening around the world just from our ambassadors. This month's President's Report, I'm gonna take you to a, a place in the world that you won't ever go, I, I don't think. It's a country that's very closed. We have a secret weapon that goes into that country. We have seven groups waiting to be baptized and Cammie is gonna tell us that story right now. It says in Acts 16, nine and 10, during the night, Paul had a vision of a man of Macedonia standing and begging him, come over to Macedonia and help us. There are many people around the world waiting for someone to share Jesus with them. This is why the Lord has commissioned us to go out to the people, and AWR is doing just that. In many places, no Adventist church resides, and there is a need for the Adventist message in their own languages. We travel through the bustling streets and alleyways to meet a faithful Bible worker. It is in a colorful apartment we meet Lily. After a brief hug, she shows me that she is currently translating the Bible into the local language on her laptop. She takes careful notes and is filled with joy knowing that many lives will be changed because of what she does. Lily tries to teach me a few words, which I find challenging. She leads us to her patio of flowers as she tells me her story. After school, I got married. Her husband was a Roman Catholic. Though she did not understand the Bible, she followed his belief. She wanted to know more than the priest taught, but her husband never allowed her to even touch his Bible. For 20 years, I followed my husband's belief, not truly knowing my Jesus. In 2018, an Adventist World Radio representative journeyed to her town, seeking someone to translate AWR sermons to the local language. And Lily was very willing to help. But then she was confused, as what she was translating was very different to what she was taught. And then suddenly, she got very sick. The devil was trying to stop the work I was doing. In her sickness, she heard a voice warning her, do not open your Bible or you will die. But after 20 years of not being able to read the Bible, she knew what she had to do. As she studied, she felt continually attacked by an unseen force, but she never stopped reading. Once her friend learned that Lily was sick, she immediately came to pray over her. And she read to her more truths from the Bible. Soon, Lily fully recovered. Immediately, she resumed her important translation work. And as she listened to and translated the Adventist messages, she heard many new truths. What she found was so interesting that she started to spend extra time in her day researching these topics in her Bible, like the Seventh-day Sabbath and Jesus' Second Coming. Everything I studied was so different from what I believed, but it was coming straight from the Bible. But there was one problem that still remained. Her husband did not like the idea of change and became very concerned with her work. Then one day, she studied about the mark of the beast. And after much research, she was convicted that this was the truth. She wanted to become Avenus, but would that divide her family? She spent much time in prayer. Little did she know, God already had it all planned out. While the translations were in progress, AWR also saw the need for an outreach center. They brought in a physical therapist and hosted Bible studies. When the place opened, word of how people were being helped spread fast, and the people from the city flocked to the center. Paralytic patients from surrounding areas made their way there. People from neighboring countries also came to be healed. 
and all heard about the loving Jesus while there. During this time, someone was observing the Adventists in the center. When he witnessed their willingness to help others, his heart changed. I was shocked as my husband came to ask me about the Sabbath. So the two studied together and he came to a conclusion. The Sabbath message is true. As principal of a local school, he stopped all schooling on the Sabbath and started to worship at home. There are now six people ready for baptism, including Lily. I'm grateful for AWR and the messages of hope and truth. Friends, consider the impact you can have upon others if you're willing to let the Lord lead. You have the power to direct a soul for Christ. Go to awr.org for videos, training, and more. Join AWR 360 as we share the gospel around this world. No walls, no borders, and no limits. This is AWR 360.